So for preview activity part D, we're going to be looking at the limits as x approaches positive or negative infinity. Now we found that it had a critical value at negative 1, and therefore it had an absolute max in the point negative 1, 5. So we're going to take the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x. Well, if x goes to infinity, this whole piece goes to infinity, which means the whole whole denominator goes to infinity. That's going to pull this whole piece to 0, so we get 2 plus 0, or 2. As x goes to negative infinity, well, because of the square, this is still going to go to positive infinity, pull this whole piece to 0, and it's also going to be 2. So we have a function that is coming up from 2, increases to 5 at negative 1, and then decreases back to 2. So we have a horizontal asymptote at the line y equals 2, and we can see that because it de increases all the time, if you remember from our line chart from last time, it was always increasing from negative infinity to negative one, negative 1, and always decreasing from negative 1 to infinity, it's not going to cross that horizontal asymptote, so we can guarantee that f of x is always greater than 2. And we're not going to have a minimum because nowhere does our function go from decreasing to increasing. We can see it from our sign chart. So if we take a look at the graph, we'll see that we actually can confirm our findings. Notice here at negative 1, we got an absolute max at the point negative 1, comma 5. We have no min, and we have a horizontal asymptote at 2 as, as our function approaches 2 in both directions. So our graph confirms everything that we found via calculus. There's an absolute max, no absolute min for this function.